Hello everyone, uh, we're here at ESP.bet Road to the Major with Existence and Kenny Yes. Hey guys. Hello. Hello boy. So let's jump in straight to the questions. Uh, first, we've got the batch of major preparation topics. And um, a lot of people have been asking, uh, what's your preparation for the major? How many days per week do you practice? And how many hours per day? with the captain so <laughs> yeah. this is your, the kind of question uh, right, so. we are playing five days uh, per week and uh, all money uh, between uh, six and ten to be honest what yeah, is, yeah. Let's depends say of the day <laughs> yeah let's say eight eight, Sounds good. eight per day and so. we we currently had the boot camp so we've been boot camping for a week now and it has been productive so far so yeah, good preparation. Dylan Purdy is asking, uh, what is the current state of the team in terms of map pool and preparation? Because some of you mentioned previously that map pool wasn't so broad. So what is the situation right now? Yeah, so we began to play every map. Every map. So it was not the case before. We could not tell it uh, officially because uh, all the teams should pick, uh, for example, Nuke against us. But uh, since like uh, one week, we we began to, to practice every map. So yeah, it's gonna be uh, a better thing for, for us next tournament. Next tournament. Maybe. <laughs> so here obviously is a little bit of a trick question. Kumam Rad is asking which maps you are confident on and which you aren't. So basically spill it all. <coughs> Excuse me, but we cannot answer this question. <laughs> I mean, we won't tell our opponents what their best map and what is the yeah. worst. <laughs> let's let's check a statistic, maybe. Yeah, check statistic, bro. Tapas two point zero is asking, what did you guys focus on during this recent boot camp? Do you think you can take on Astralis, Phase, and Liquid? Uh, so what did did we prepare uh, this week? Uh, focus on. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we focus on uh, to speak together a lot about uh, how we see the game, uh, and especially on bootcamp, it, it's more easy to do it in bootcamp than uh, internet uh, because we can see like the same screen. Uh, we can uh, exchange a lot together, and uh, yeah. So and of course we did uh, we did a lot of practice. But uh, not too much. We uh, yeah, we 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 mostly we mostly practice not too much. I said uh, we also try to focus on ourselves, having uh, sometimes to to play for yeah. I mean to to improve individual skills, especially that um, we had the, we had the break uh, two weeks ago, so we had to make sure that we we went. We got into the game uh, really quickly after the break, so that's also why we we made a boot camp before before the major. And for the second part, uh, yes, I think we are ready to to beat a solid phase or liquid. Liquid, mm. yeah, we can do it. So, small question from me personally. So, how was your holiday? What did you do? Uh, mostly chilled, to be honest. Uh, I went to uh, to Malta. For a few days, uh, really, really nice uh, few days with my friends. Um, uh, there is things I did I won't I won't say, of course, because you know we have a privacy. Uh, then I went to Disneyland with my brother for his birthday, uh, and then I went to to the stadium in Paris to to see my favorite football team playing. And uh, yeah, basically, I I spent the the war the war break with my friends. And for me, I went to my York with uh, my girlfriend, uh, Jerome, our manager, and a uh, friend of Jerome. So now we're moving into the major question section. Some will be a little bit uh, mixed up later, so don't be surprised. But now we go into add the major section. And Darko Plax, our big G2 fan, is asking, who would you want to dodge stylistically? I think you mean strategically in the major. Like which teams would you like to dodge? 
Det är död. Mm. Yeah, maybe as well is because they are always good and especially especially at the beginning of tournaments. Uh, I mean, even in the past when they were not top one, uh, they were so good in uh, in group stage or since uh, they are directly good at the first first game, for example. But uh, uh, yeah, it's okay. We can play every team, even as sorry. It's okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, we don't want to dodge anyone, but there is uh, some teams that we would want to, to face as late as possible, obviously. The follow-up question from Seiko. Um, do you fear any team from the major? Um, also, similar question. Who are the top players to watch out for? Uh, I think we don't care about that. It's like if we play good, we can beat everyone. Uh, uh, I almost say easily. It's not the case, but we can beat everyone. It's not a. Uh, it's just about us, no, not about them. So it's not like you guys spoke about like you know dream scenario. No. No, we don't. Uh, we don't really. I mean, we have the major in our head, but we don't really think about it yet. Uh, we also don't want to put some weird pressure on ourselves. I mean, we're gonna have enough pressure, and we're gonna we're gonna be enough prepared to to face every eventuality. So, I mean, we don't have to to imagine any scenarios in our head or whatever. Uh, we just don't really think about it. We just focus on uh, what we do right now. Uh, which means practicing for the major. Obviously, fans ask a lot of questions like this. And next from Corey is, uh, he's asking, who do you want to play at the major? Is there some team you you, you would like to face? Well, I guess we, we we all have a different ideas about it. But the team I would want to face and destroy, even though I like them, <laughs> would be big. Uh, Kerrang has been a terrible experience for me. Uh, also, losing to them was was rough. Uh, we also felt a bit humiliated on the second map. Uh, so I think we, I mean, I want to take revenge on them. Uh, I know we can, and I would want to face them and knock them off from the tournament. Mm, no particular team. Uh, the most satisfying, uh, most mm. satisfying uh, victory would be Asolis. So I will say Asolis, but if you can dodge them, <laughs> let's dodge them. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that FIFA match rematch, Smuya versus <laughs> Kenny. Yes. Look, uh, he might play like we can basically play 100 game. I'm gonna win like 95 and five draws. We basically made the draws in Korong and it's not gonna happen anymore. So Smuya's days are over. I mean, Smuya is not good at FIFA. <laughs> That's it, <laughs> <laughs> and I am. <laughs> So uh, there's a couple of similar questions. So Mousestar is asking, what's your thought on the competition at the major? I mean, uh, CS has been... It's been a few years now that CS has been showing a lot of qualities, a lot of great players, a lot of good teams. Uh, the level is really high and really close as well. Um, so, I, I mean... The competition in CS is might be one of the highest in esport. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, basically the question. Uh, yeah. An important point is that uh, half the every team's got uh, like three weeks or one month to to prepare just the major. So, so mm. I think the it's gonna be very interesting to see all the new tactics. So yeah, it's gonna be a, a good one. So you feel that all the teams will be coming in stronger than we've seen them before? Yeah. 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 Um, LG Zarek asks, are you confident for the major, the, the mental state of the team? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think we are confident. We, we work pretty well uh, recently. And uh, I, I mean, uh, like, one month ago, we were not that good in practice, and uh, we are really improving in practice, and uh, it's a very, very good thing. Uh, our map pool is uh, really better, and uh, our mentality is very good. 
So yeah, we we are confident. Mm, definitely. Iron Hack Nine is asking, and maybe existence you can say because you mentioned Astralis. He's asking, how do you plan to take down Astralis? Explain briefly. I don't know. Repeat. Basically, he wants you to say how to beat Astralis. How to beat Astralis? Um, yeah, just just to be at your be- at your be- at so at our best level, uh, and I, I have an idea, but I I, I can't say that <laughs> it's like impossible uh, so to, to answer to this question. <laughs> If I want to to say the term, if, so, if we actually want to beat Astralis, we should keep it for yourself. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. And then <laughs> if we beat them, we will. Yeah. <laughs> Once we beat them, we we'll say question. everything. If we do. Sorry, man. Phoebe is asking, which team do you think will surprise everyone at the major? Uh, maybe some team that was underrated and not a lot of people are talking about. Um. Or. Uh, He's still among the favorites, but maybe a team like Navi has been showing a lot of great things lately. Uh, if Navi won, <laughs> if Navi yeah, yeah. Win, it's not like a surprise, but like top two. I mean, the the, the ultimate favorites are Astralis and Phase, so it um, would be still an upset to see someone else win. I don't, I don't see a, an outsider very in shape at the moment, so it's hard to. Answer. Maybe B shows showed yeah. uh, something good mm. uh, recently. Um, liquid, but they are, they are not outsider. Mm. That's what Space to say. soldiers, maybe. I don't know. We don't. We didn't see them too much recently, and we didn't. We didn't even practice them. But the thing is, we don't even know. Um, we only know eight team out of yeah. sixteen, so it's pretty hard to, to predict anything. But as you said, we had the break, and every team was come ready. So, and as I also say, the CS has probably the highest level in esports, so it would not be a surprise to see anyone else than than the favorites winning. Do you think that the legend? could reshuffle at this major in particular because you're saying like you know there's been a lot of time to prepare for it well i guess it will i mean it's always been like that uh, i don't remember the time where we had like eight legends the same so yeah i mean a uh, major always delivers a lot of surprises uh, especially when we won uh, especially at krakow for example when we saw gambit winning over immortals it was a big upset, so it's yes, it's major, so everything is possible. And actually, I I can't see uh uh M- 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 uh do something very good at the major. Yeah, me too. Uh, we practiced them and uh, they were like very in shape and uh, they played very well. John the King is asking, uh, what is the anticipation for the major? Basically, uh, also a similar question from Axel. What is your goal for the major? What you would like to achieve? Uh, we want to win, but uh, the first step is going to be already very difficult to go out of our Swiss system and uh, then reach semi, etc. But the, every two months we attend is the win. Simple question, simple answer. Next best cowboy has separate questions for each of you. He's asking existence. Do you feel different going into this major as it has been a while since your last time? Yeah, it's gonna be a, like yeah, it's gonna be something special because uh, uh, I don't know what to say, but already when I come back. To G2, the first tournament was special. Uh, I think, like the first game, is gonna be something special again, and uh, I am very happy to to be back and to have the possibility to play this kind of tournament. When we, when you are playing in the good team, like uh, during three years, 
uh, it's like all time the same, but I stopped during uh, two years to, to play at the best level. I, I was still practicing a lot, etc., to come back. And now uh, I came back to a very good team and uh, I can realize the chance I have to, to play at this level and at this kind of tournament. So I think it's going to be something special for me. So the same next best cowboy asking you, Kenny, again, a little bit similar to the question you already answered. How realistic is the top eight finish on this major? Would you be satisfied by just keeping the legend spot? Um, I, I will not say satisfied, but I will not say sad either. Uh, keeping the legend spot is already a good thing itself. Uh, but I'm pretty sure seeing how things go right now, uh, the state of mind we have, the way we play now, I would be disappointed if we don't reach the top four. Mm. Yeah, it's like uh, it's very important to go out of the group stage mm. to be legend after the, the major after. But uh, for the player, if we don't speak about uh, uh, just the, the player himself and what he wants to achieve, it's like not to go out of group stage. Uh, it's to win out at least top mm. four. Yeah, I think top four would be rest realistic objective and uh i mean if we don't reach it it's not the end of the world uh, but yeah i think we'll be disappointed great um another block of questions general topics about our team and csgo pro players in general pro and not and semi-pro let's say so upcoming stars and current stars fate is asking um what difference do you see in this team, current G2 roster, compared to the super team a year ago? <laughs> Hard question. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> um, I mean, um, I, I don't really like to compare uh, because comparing would mean giving criticism to something I at one point enjoyed being a part of uh, so I was not comparing anything uh, I, I just know that joining this team made me super happy and uh, and I just feel super good in this team and I don't regret anything that happened uh, in my career so far so I'm super happy on how things went even though we I had a lot of ups ups and down uh, also as a team um i don't want to talk about what happened before i just want to focus on what i have now and i'm super happy about what i have now Leib is asking and probably you both can say quite a bit here what is the hardest part about each brand shuffle the the what the hardest part about each friend shuffle I think people uh, so so us uh, split a lot of time, so they don't they don't trust, uh, they don't believe in us. Mm. Like maybe the yeah. <laughs> yeah. What it means is that uh, the tough part the the tough part right now would be that we used to disband so much uh, in the French end that no one really believes anymore in every French efforts. Uh, so it, it pretty much includes us. Uh, so yeah, that's the 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 annoying part. But I pretty much understand it because uh, we haven't shown a lot of stability the last five years uh, in France. So I can understand that people might think that oh, once again something useless. Um, but what I can say is that <coughs> everything happens for a reason, and. Um, and I mean, disbanding and kicking players and that kind of things is always hard, but um, we think we make the right choice. But I think the difference between this French offer we made happen is different from the, the previous ones. 
Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's never easy, but it is what it is. I don't really know how to to explain everything, but <laughs> uh, I think you I think you get the point or, or not. But I'm sorry if you don't. <laughs> Maybe you want to explain. No, no. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> just out of curiosity, that uh, one for me personally. Do you think it's gonna keep? the same uh, as it was in history the french players just play with french players and it's like a lot of just french teams or you think that it's a sort of at the breaking point where french players gonna start playing international teams and maybe you know french scene is gonna change that way uh, at one point we run out of, of, uh, of solutions so <laughs> so maybe it can happen yeah i guess mm, yeah it will happen for sure but i think if it, uh French player wants to, to play with, with French player just to communicate better and uh, have a, a better team play. I think it's the main reason uh, for the moment. Like, if you speak the same language and uh, uh, play with something, uh, with, uh, with someone who, 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 li- uh, who live in the same country, it's most, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. there is something special. Uh, I mean, it's, 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 <laughs> CS is still about uh, relationships between people, uh, so it's easier to create bonds and uh, and relationships with people that actually speaks your your language. It's like the same for uh, Denmark and uh, Sweden, so we are not alone. <laughs> Pants is asking that's a general question not just ma- major related i assume he's asking what teams you like to play against and what you don't like to play against mm, i also don't like playing vp uh they're already sneaky and playing with a lot of smokes and <laughs> and a lot of tactics so as an open it's not really easy to face them and uh, I like playing a lot of teams. Actually, I like to play. I like to play everyone. I mean, I don't have necessarily someone or a team that I don't want to face. Uh, well, I just know that VP used to be super annoying to me. Yeah, in the past it was the same for me. Uh, and I especially speak about the major because they were always so well prepared at major. Uh, coming with full new tactics, impossible to anticipate them or analyze them, mm. and uh, we could see it coming like uh, one month before. We like they were not that good. After they were good, and uh, one week one week before they were unbeatable. Yeah. So we are, we 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 are we were like we don't want to play them, and uh, we were in the same same group stage like two times. Mm. Not good memories for me. Dira Joy is asking very similar question as Lirim is asking, just to Kenny. So one is how you practice, and another one, how do you prepare for a LAN? Um, my, pre- my practice schedule is pretty s- classic, I would say, nothing really original. Uh, I'm just... Uh, yeah, I mean, right now we are boot camping and stuff, so I'm trying to play a lot. Uh, I'm not trying to discuss myself from the game, but I'm playing a lot. Um, I would say between 45 and 50 hours a week. Uh, right, especially here because we're in boot camp and we're preparing for the major and stuff. But otherwise, I'm just playing some deathmatch, uh, 200 kills with AWP, like regular deathmatch, nothing really special. Uh, just playing with AWP and other weapons because it's important for an OPA to be able to pick up another weapon or just play with other weapon being good with pistols uh, and afterwards I have practice uh, then I might be playing this much again or play FPL uh, that kind of things um, so yeah something really nothing really original uh, but I know that when I do that practice schedule well when I do it well uh, I get I, I get what I want. I get results. Okay. As for me, I will take uh, the major for example. 
Uh, so we had one month, uh, one complete month uh, to prepare it. So my uh, my goal was to to have uh, two weeks to focus on the the technical side, and uh, I wanted it to be ready, and so I could just focus on myself. So to last week, so uh, do a lot of deep match, uh, play in FPL, uh, try to stream. Uh, yeah, uh, speak a lot, a lot with uh, my teammates to be sure to to be on the same huge page. Uh, yeah, to be ready on my skill, to be confident, uh, put a lot of hour and uh, coming uh, ready and confident. Adam is asking for existence. What did you implement in this new squad, and what changes did you make? in the overall play style and tactic? Mm, it's a very hard question. Uh, I'm trying to implement a lot of things and uh, to work on every details to know how to play everyone, uh, to, to work on our mental side, uh, to have the same view of things. Uh, I could like continue doing one hour or so. I, I will, I'm trying to, to, to work of, of just, uh, on a lot of things. Okay, guys. So if you want a one-hour interview with existence <laughs> regarding tactics and new strategies, let us know in the comments. Yep. Kevin McCarty is asking, he's asking two questions. So let's begin with one. How has G2 Body found the transition from being a supportive element of the team for the last two years to now being the third star entry? Hi. <laughs> <Pas fait notice. laughs> um, so the question was, uh, how was the transition, right? Uh, well, um, I think you should ask him himself, but I'm pretty sure he likes it. Uh, he's been really good since he joined the the, the team. A um, few months before the, the creation of the team, he has been struggling a lot. Um, individually, pretty. I mean, he was pretty bad. You know it. Uh, there was a lot of reason for that, and a lot of reason we knew. That's why we still picked him up in the team, uh, and we also trust him. And uh, yeah, the transition has been quite good so far, uh, from what I see at least. Um, he's happy in his is in his new role. Uh, it's also better for him. I mean, it's always easier and better to be more in the game, uh, having more bragging power than being just a support. Uh, being a support is a really hard role. That's why I don't do it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm pretty sure he's happy. He's really happy about it. And uh, as I said, he's been showing a lot of great things since we started the team. Have you guys decided on a secondary opera or that per that's the person who is feeling it? That moment? Mm. Uh... I think uh, I told the um, not I think uh, I told to my teammates uh, everyone can play with AVP, uh, but we try to have uh, like a special one on uh, like on the two it's gonna be Smith. Uh, and train drugs. <laughs> <laughs> um, on Inferno it's gonna be uh, body banana. Is it like different for every map? So. It, there is not a uh, second main AVP. Okay. Sensei XT is asking, well, basically, it's uh, a little bit longer question. He's saying, I won't be able to play when I will be 18 to 21 because I need to go to the army when I'll be 18. Should I still try to go pro? I'm now 13, but I saw that the most of the pros show their name when they become 18. Uh, that's a tough question. I, I I don't think we really faced that kind of situation before. Mm. Uh, he's still thirteen, though, right? I mean, if he's still thirteen, that would be the the good age to start being like to see if he's really talented or not. Mm. Um, I think he he knows himself if he's good enough or not. Uh, if he's good enough at eighteen, 
uh, it's obviously going to be hard for him to, to leave for the army and coming back would be hard as well. But if he's starting right now, I, I don't, I think he, he can do it, right? I think he can do it. He just has to believe in himself and, uh, and uh, not, giving, not giving up because after two years in the army, it's going to be hard for him. Uh, but if he really wants to do it, he, if he has the talent, I don't see any problems. And my personal answer is uh, believe in you and you're gonna find the answer. You don't mm. don't listen to us too much. You're gonna find the, the answer. He knows better than us. Tiger is asking. I know it's quite late to ask these kind of questions, but is it weird playing with Smith again instead of him coaching or being on the other team? No. Uh... No, no, no. <laughs> That's it. No, it's not weird. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't really know what to say about it. Uh, uh, I was, I was really glad to to be able to play with him again. Um, in my opinion, he has been a good coach. He taught me a lot. Uh, but since uh, I played with him back in the back in the days, and I saw him being a coach, uh, I knew he had everything required to be the player we want him to be. And we need him to be. Mm. So, so no, this was not a problem. This was not weird at all. And uh, we are all really happy about it. Uh, there is a, a real thing, uh, at least for me. Uh, when I was playing with him, uh, he was playing a lot with AVP. Uh, of, often the main one. And uh, sometimes, uh, like in some lineups we did together, with Kenny, he was like the second AVP. So... He changed uh, a lot of things. He changed his role completely, and uh, that—that's the the real thing. He 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 have to he has to to change uh, completely, and uh, it's a a big challenge for him. Uh, so Tom Pandolfi is asking best up and coming player that isn't you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to be honest, uh, I I played with him uh, in a French FPL. Uh, in FPL, I played against him uh, in a map. I saw him play, and uh, I am really impressed by his level. Uh, uh, if we just speak about uh, watching someone play, uh, he's like the best I ever see. Uh, even if we are watching like Korzewa or Nico, is they are not that good. It's so so insane. But uh, to be like pro, to to uh, if you want to be the best, you have to be the best with the team. And uh, I think uh, he he, have, he has a lot to to to, to learn uh, to play at top level uh, on tactics uh, about team play uh, about a lot of things. But uh, yeah, I, I think it's is gonna be so 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 good uh, in the future. And I think it's too early to judge. <laughs> so I'm just gonna make a note here. Um, that <laughs> that was not. So there is another question. I will just say say it for the sake of recording. <laughs> Sachin V asked, "What do you think of Divu? Divu is correct, right? Yeah. Divu. 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 So whatever. We have this <laughs> session B asked, what do you think of Divu? And now let's repeat the question I already asked. I they, they were asking best, um, so Tom Pandolfi asked best up and, Tom Pandolfi asked who is best up and coming player that is not Divu. Right, that is not Divu. Mm. Well, from what I know in France, at least, um, I like Logan. I think he's pretty good. Oh, no. And uh, I think he knows better, so he would play. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Amanek. Uh, yeah, I agree. Okay. But I don't really see him as an upcoming player. I, I pretty much see him like... We, uh, we know him because he's French. Yeah. And, uh, but I don't know that... Like, uh, I would say Amanek as well. Amanek yeah. is, is very good. I can see him... Uh, as a solid player, a smart player, mm. uh, yeah, he's very good. Mm -hmm. 
Advait Hanekar is asking, uh, Liquid lost to Astralis in three finals. In such situations, should a young team like Liquid make roster changes to win trophies, or should they just be paid? Well, did they lose in finals? Yeah. yeah oh, so big, like big, big game. Yeah, so it doesn't... In my opinion, it's just like, no, it should be patient. I mean, reaching finals and facing Australia is... Uh, Depends on the ways I lose as well, but I'm pretty sure they don't need to change anything and they they just need to be patient or have the, the good reset to beat the, the Astralis, which is the team they are actually struggling against. But I think he's gonna, gonna have to captain. Uh, I tell you, I saw all this game. Uh, <laughs> every team, uh, every time there is this matchup, I try to, to watch the, the game because uh, it's a very interesting game, uh, matchup. I mean, uh, both both teams are playing uh, with very good tactics. Uh, yeah, I I like uh, watch the liquid playing. Uh, they they just have to to, to stay together, and uh, it's a good thing to have. Uh, I don't know what to say. I will so, sorry. I will say in, in French. But... C'est bien d'avoir, je uh, uh, pas. Même en français, c'est dur. <rire> <rire> euh, c'est comme nous, on a eu avec VG, euh, qu'on, qu'on tenait, une barrière psychologique. Ouais, une barrière psychologique et de passer outre. Ça, ah. ça apprend beaucoup de choses. Quoi. Parce que c'est. c'est... Uh, what it means is that uh, Liquid Maya started to have a psychological issue against Astralis. And uh, it's a really good thing to go beyond that. Si, ils arrivent à la surmonter. Quoi. If they can do. If they can go beyond that. They're gonna take a lot of experience thanks to that. That's it. Great. Um, we have general topics about the game right now in CSGO in general. What is your favorite map in CSGO that is not in regular competition rotation? I like surf maps. <laughs> I like surf maps. Uh, I like uh, pool day. <laughs> yeah, I pool day. Uh, but like in one uh, point, not in yeah. CSGO. <laughs> oh, not the, in uh, CSGO. Yeah, uh, pool day has been my childhood, so it's important for me. It's always in my head. Uh, <clears throat> but I don't really play outside competitive, uh, except for doing funny stuff uh, like surfing or pool day, uh, that kind of stuff. I also like Helen Lake. Uh, I like Lake. Uh, I don't ask why, but I like it. And uh, yeah, that's it. What about yeah. you? Same for me. Uh, we just had FIA Sword. That was the best map. I like this one too. Wall shot, pro second. Lapa is asking, who is the best opera right now? He needs to prove a point. Me. Him. <laughs> Roberto is asking, can you ask? Do you believe you are as good with op as before? So you basically choose the question, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you might think that's not the case. So what do you think? <laughs> I'm just voice behind the camera. <laughs> yeah, I think the voice behind the camera doesn't like me. Uh, I think uh, I'm I'm a different player from what people like to call me vintage Kenyans, and I actually. It's not like I I don't mind being called oh my god that was a vintage Kenya's performance but I'm just different player different person as well so mm-hmm. so I might I, I might have lost something but I might have gained something else uh, I also know that I, I can do better you know so I would not say that I'm I, I would just say that I'm better than I used to be I, I think it's a very interesting question because I am there and I can I give a good answer. Uh, you have to. People have to to know that. Uh, by example. Uh, okay, first thing he was uh, in very games. He was not that good because he was so young. After in Titan, uh, he was so good with skill. But I and and not but uh, and I give uh, I gave I gave uh, I gave him a lot of space like full space. Uh, as much as he wanted, full freedom. And, uh, yeah, full freedom, 
so it was like more easy to uh, to be like the superstar and uh, then uh, but it, it was not a good thing and uh, it won't happen again uh, like uh, it's not a good thing <laughs> Sorry, man. and uh, so now he, he try to play more team play uh, try to to let more space to to his teammate and uh, it's uh, like that and it's a good thing and you know it and uh it's not gonna be yeah it's gonna it's not gonna be the same and i think is better a, a little bit better uh he, he still have a lot to to learn about team play etc but uh, he's a better player player today that, than he was uh that he was before dave is asking <laughs> dave is asking why both of you use black bars uh, you not you no i do ah, but, yeah. uh, go ahead you first uh, what what is uh, the question uh, is black bar or not uh, why yeah. do you why do you use black bars ah why Still. uh why don't you use black bars <laughs> I, don't, I always play like that and uh one time i tried the uh, without and it was uh, impossible to play uh it's just a uh, an habit yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not the kind of player who likes to change his settings. I've been playing with the same settings for years and years now, uh, even on uh, on Source 1.6, 1.5. You know, I, I I just think that if I fail somewhere or something, it's not because of my settings. Uh, something else happened, something more rational than changing your settings and, oh, you're going to be better. No, that's not going to happen. Uh, I know I play good with my settings, and I know I can play bad with my settings. I'm confident with my settings, so why would I change them? So because I, I got the courtesy of picking the questions, Yoster is asking, why are you so cute? Me? No, me. <laughs> me? Ask to me? my, this to my mother. It's not the... Um, also, <laughs> it was not directed on a, a certain person, so I guess both of you. Uh, we have a oh, question a with a photo from Kidding. existence with three, six, you're saying when is this handsome hairstyle coming back? No, no, we we can't call it an, an hairstyle. <laughs> it's, it's the same. It's the same. No, no it's not the same. Uh, like it was funny though, the way he was doing his uh, haircut. I remember like he, it was like something with hair dryer in a special position in the in a special angle and something really hard to do, and he was doing it every morning. Mop asked. Can you ask, do you think that MT5 SD will impact the CS competitive scene heavily? Uh, it's just a weapon, right? But as I, I didn't really play with it, um, but when I played with it, uh, I felt it was super overpowered, uh, really accurate, really, really accurate from, from a long distance, oh. short distance. Um, so I think it's a bit hurdy to judge the weapon because I'm pretty sure the Valve will change it anyway. Uh, so we might talk about it in a, in a few weeks, months, maybe if you want. Further. Yeah, I agree. So the guy called Official Body asked Existence on Instagram. I know. Saying, hello Existence, I would like to know how you're that good. Official Body? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm practicing a lot. Uh... Yeah, you should try it. <laughs> 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 okay. um, Official buddy again. <laughs> Demon Daniel Harry asked existence, who is your favorite opera? Uh, Fallon. <laughs> Fallon. <laughs> GW. <laughs> Everyone but me. <laughs> oh, uh, you will be surprised, but official body sent another question in. <laughs> Hello, Kenny. Yes, I would like to know why you so handsome. <laughs> um, uh, you know, there's a thing I, I really like when you say that. It's like it makes it feels really honest. So thank you and. Uh, Thank you, but I'm not as handsome as you are, uh, buddy. But I am. Nobody yes. is born perfect, asks you, Kenny. Um, 
Would you consider yourself a passive or aggressive opera at the moment? Oh, at the moment. Unpredictable. <laughs> yeah, and I like that. Unpredictable. Exactly. So Evan for himself. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um so let's let's do a closing one here. Thank you guys a lot for answering the questions and best of luck at the major. Thank you. you Thank too. you. Thank you guys for the question. Thanks guys.